Welcome to Indiana's first fish and wildlife area, Jasper Pulaski. My name is Nick Echterling. I'm the property manager at Jasper Pulaski Fish and Wildlife Area. As the property manager, my main job duties are to manage the habitat on Jasper Pulaski. So we manage 8,100 acres of wildlife habitat, and our main goal is to produce healthy habitats for all fish and wildlife in Indiana, and in turn create recreational opportunities for hunters, fishermen, and wildlife watchers. The land acquisition of Jasper Pulaski Fish and Wildlife Area, affectionately known as JP, started in 1929 and continues today, thanks in part to hunting and fishing license sales and federal taxes on hunting, fishing, and shooting equipment. The main habitat types we have on Jasper Pulaski are oak savannas, which are open oak woodlands, wetlands, which you can see here. Also, we have some ag ground, food plots, sunflower fields for doves that we manage for wildlife as well. The management we do on the property provides habitat that are home to diverse wildlife. Our wetlands are intensively managed to provide the best year-round habitat for migratory birds, which in turn provides many hunting opportunities as well as bird watching opportunities throughout the year. Autumn brings northern migrants headed south for the winter. Ducks and geese provide opportunities for hunters while tens of thousands of sandhill cranes offer stunning bird watching opportunities for all. One of the species of wildlife that are really popular at Jasper Pulaski are the sandhill crane. We have the largest populations of sandhill cranes east of the Mississippi. Our sandhill crane numbers peak at the end of November, beginning of December, and generally those numbers are between 25 and 30,000 at their highest fall count. One of the best areas to view cranes at Jasper Pulaski is the observation tower. Here, cranes can be seen in the morning and evening as they fly to and from the roost to feed in the surrounding agriculture fields. Besides sandhill cranes, some of the other wildlife that are common on the property include blue herons, Canada geese, ducks, primarily wood ducks and mallards, Upland birds include turkeys, bobwhite quail, and some pheasants. Deer hunting is very popular on the property and we have a good population of white-tailed deer as well. Some of the wildlife management techniques we employ here at Jasper Pulaski involve prescribed burning, so we'll use fire to manage certain species of wildlife, and also main, mainly plant species, reduce invasive species, encourage native plants. We also use tractors and other implements to one, remove invasive species, and also plant native and annual species for animals to feed on. We have a lot of mushrooms, both morels in the spring and sheep heads in the fall, which you can get out and forage for. And then for our shooters, we have a shooting range, both a firearm range and an archery range. Property users can choose between various rifle ranges, handgun ranges, and a shotgun range for shooting clay targets. We also have an archery range where you can hone your skills at ground level or practice from our elevated platform. There is no cost associated with using either of these amenities. Our range safety officers will be glad to show you how to sign in and explain our range rules. Access on Jasper Pulaski is available one by county roads that crisscross the property to make getting from point A to point B really easy. And then once you're actually out on the property, we don't have marked trails but we do have many fire lanes, both mowed and dist, and then levees in our wetlands that you can walk. While visiting JP, stop into its two nature preserves, Teff Savannah and Coastal Plain Ponds Nature Preserve. These preserves make up 1,100 acres of oak savanna and wetland habitat. Teff Savannah contains some of the highest quality black oak savanna habitat remaining in the state, while Coastal Plain Ponds provides habitat for over 30 endangered or threatened plant species. Other areas around Jasper Pulaski that are good to visit as well are the nature preserves that butt up to our property. Also, there's other fish and wildlife areas in the Kankakee region worth checking out. And the Nature Conservancy, which is a private nonprofit, has property in the area as well. There are lots of things to see and do at JP and nearby. <music> <laughs>